Morning, Blaze. Want to do some Spirit of Vengeance training in the yard? <sighs> oh man, I sound so lame. Oof, freaking hopeless. Who are you talking to, Robbie? Sparky? Oh, hey there, Hunter. Um, didn't see you standing there. I was just talking to myself, trying to hype myself up, you know? Hype yourself up for what? If we're gonna be working with Blaze, and he starts hanging out at the Abbey, and we're driving across the desert together killing demons, I need to be cool. Seeing him in action made me realize how much I need to step up my game. I mean, he's the original spirit of vengeance, the real Ghost Rider. And I'm just... Robbie Reyes, from East LA. How the hell am I supposed to live up to that? You do not want to follow in Blaze's footsteps. He does not seem like a role model for anyone. Really? He's always seemed like the best to me. I think the wisest thing to do would be to chart our own path. Look at me! I'm standing here in the middle of this ancient abbey, surrounded by some of Earth's greatest heroes. And I still don't really feel like I belong. It's not like I got that special something you've got. I mean, look at you. You're not intimidated by anyone. How do you own that swagger? I do not fear being, as you say, hardcore. Hooey! <laughs> Hell yeah! That's how Sparky and I like to roll. Just continue to do what must be done, without regret, and without apology. You will find your footing here. Well, thanks for the heart to heart, or demon to demon, <laughs> or whatever. You've given me and Sparky a lot to digest. See you around, Hunter. This isn't working. The map table? Should I get Tony? No, I mean Midnight Suns, Avengers, and now X-Men. The Abbey. None of it's working. And I have no one to blame but myself. I have been saying that since you woke me up. Leave the crappy stand-up for Tony, kiddo. There are bigger issues. Three teams under the same roof, all fighting for different reasons. Nothing to bring us together. It's not too late to change that. If Agatha were here, she'd tell me... Oh, it doesn't matter. She isn't here. Um, so... about Agatha... I know you miss her, kiddo. She used to keep us from butting heads as much as we do. No, I meant... Wait, I need to say this. I've been less than my best without her at my side. Especially to you. But this is the wrong time to talk about the past. About Agatha. All right. What now? I'm calling a meeting. When? Tonight. I'll spread the word. Find me after your mission. We can go there together. All right. I love a chance to rock my Cree bathing suit. How is the search for Blaze going? Nowhere. The dude has totally gone off-grid. Oh, I've scoured every rat hole on the planet a guy like that would be seen in. Monster truck shows, stunt cycling extravaganzas, motocross events, but Blaze is totally MIA. I'm telling you, Hunter, if I have to spend one more hour scanning digital maps for that hot Cheeto, even my super sight is gonna go all squiggly. I should not have to impress upon you the importance of finding him, Captain. If Lilith acquires that page, we are, in a word, screwed. Oh, jeez, Hunter. Tell me something I don't know. I get the importance of finding him, okay? Don't need you to hunt or explain it to me. Well, I'd love to continue with the chit-chatting, but I've got to get back to the most boring manhunt in history. 
Do let me know when you find them. Don't worry. I'll be so freaking relieved and excited the whole Abbey will know. Come on, Blaze. Come out, come out, wherever you are. You can't hide forever under whatever backwater rock you've crawled under. How's it going, boss? And to the right now. Sometimes, I even impress myself. See you, Hunter. It was a hell of a sparring session, Ileana. Haven't been this sore since, well... Ain't gonna go easy, bub. Time's wasting, Hunter. We've got plenty of tricks for old dogs. No excuses here. Thank you, Hunter. Do your thing. We need to take that monster out. Guardian strong. I can handle it. Playtime's over. 
Give the mother my regards in hell. Here it comes. Now that was something. Your time has come. Maybe you should take that one. You have earned this. You will pay the greatest price. Your suffering will be. Not lost focus yet. We've done it. Excellent work. Hey, kiddo. Almost time for the meeting. I'm ready. All right. It's not far from here. Hunter, hello. Hello, my dear. What are you doing here? Whenever Sarah was this nervous, I used to keep close. A look, a smile, a touch on the shoulder. It always helped. I can't do that now, of course, but death can't stop me from watching over her. Why would she be nervous? I don't know. I think I'll stay and find out. I'm always wary of impromptu team meetings. Why? It's usually when people get fired. You have been fired? Well, me? No. But I've had to call those meetings, and they suck. Short notice for a meeting. What do you think it is about? From the set of her jaw, some kind of reprimand. And also, you know how long this will take? I do not. Why? Robbie and I had plans. It's fine. We'll figure it out. Big news, whatever it is. How can you tell? I've known Sarah long enough. After tonight, everything changes. Good thing you're fireproof. She didn't call this meeting lightly. 
Whatever this is, it's important. How do you know? Because I've called meetings like this before. Such a charming location for... whatever is about to happen. What, no predictions? As I have mentioned on many occasions, often in your presence, I can no longer peer along the shaft of time's arrow, nor alter its arc. But if you could... What would you suggest I do? Waste my considerable talents on a glorified pep talk? I should think not. So you do know what she will say? I have my suspicions. Did she say what it's about? What a waste of my evening. Do you know what this is about? No, but it will be a waste, I am certain. Uh, any idea what this is about? Not really. I think she's gonna yell at somebody. Why do you say that? Hmm, just a feeling. I thought there'd be snacks. Nobody knows what this is about. Did she say something to you? Not really. Huh. Whatever it is, it can't be good. This is odd, huh? The meeting? No, meeting out here. Why not the common room? Something's up. Everyone's here. I should begin. You sound like you're hesitating. That's because I am. I could use a moment to collect my thoughts. Take your time. I will catch up with the others. Thank you. It won't be long. All right. I'm ready. We are all ready to hear what you have to say. Time to tear off the bandage. Thank you all for coming. Truthfully, I wasn't sure everyone would. And that's why we're meeting. The Hunter and I are working to stop Lilith and her master, Cathan. I'm not certain about the rest of you. Uh, we're in this to the end. Are you? I see petty rivals more concerned with scoring points off one another than stopping the mother of demons. Whoa there, if anyone isn't pulling their weight, it's the Midnight Suns. And if anyone's doing their own thing, it's the Avengers. And the ringleaders prove my point. But I speak only for myself. So, I ask the hunter... Who is responsible for the dysfunctional state in which we find ourselves? Every one of us bears responsibility for our failure. Hey, I just got here. Except for Logan. I'm sorry. I'll try to do better. And Parker. He is fine. Oh, okay. But the rest of us spend our time at odds. We have accomplished next to nothing since my return. Unless you count losing ground to my mother. She will destroy everything you know, pollute all you love. In this, she and her followers are unified. To serve Lilith is to serve Cathan. If you don't pull the same direction, if you'd rather fight each other, we've already lost. Look, the Midnight Suns are unproven. I will grant that they have potential, but we can't trust an apocalyptic threat to the Halloween teens. Um, we're all in our 20s. Could have fooled me. See? The Avengers underestimate their allies. You think they'll do otherwise for the Mother of Demons? If they're in charge, we lose. You're both right. The only one who can lead us to victory is the Hunter. Huh. That's our Steve. What do you say, Hunter? Are you willing to lead us against your own mother? There is no better person for the task at hand. Confidence is good for a leader. Arrogance? Not so much. You think I'm arrogant? I hope not. But either way, I'm sure we'll find out. 
We're your team, Hunter. Tell us how you plan to lead us. I will bring the team together. As Caretaker said, we need to pull in the same direction. The bickering ends today. We have one goal. Everything else is a distraction. Highly inspirational, boss, but let's get down to Vibranium Tax. We're all equal here, and it's obvious my team is first among equals. Look, there's no question these kids have heart. We can't do any of this without them. But this isn't our first apocalypse, and experience beats heart any day of the week. Boss, I need to know where we stand on this. I can guarantee nothing for the Avengers but the toughest battle they have ever encountered. We try not to rank them. It's more of an above a certain threshold kind of thing. And I guarantee a life above the threshold until Lilith is back in hell. We can get behind that, right, Tony? Sure. We are all equals here. There is no first among us. We do this as one, or not at all. Um, not to interrupt this feel-good moment, but what about us? It's no secret we were sidelined when Tony and the others showed up. Caretaker built our team to face this threat, but we've been pushed aside. We... Uh, I need to know that ends here. If the Midnight Suns can stand beside the others, you have nothing to worry about. But I cannot play favorites. None of us want that. I do. We're the best. Not helping. I don't know, Nico. She's growing on me. That's enough for tonight. I want all of you to reflect on what we said. If you'll excuse me, I need a moment with the Hunter. So that's it. We did what we could. Let's hope it works. I still do not see the point of all this. They're finally thinking of something other than themselves. That was the point. That is all I needed. Tonight, we pulled the plunger and set the ball rolling. The rest is gravity, and the occasional nudge. Is that a pinball reference? In the 70s, Agatha insisted I pick up a hobby. I won a few tournaments. Why do I know about pinball? Perhaps it's the universe telling you to challenge me when this is all done? Think I could take you? No, you drain faster than bathwater. the Sarah I know. The one who yelled? Yeah, I guess I can follow you. For now. What are you saying exactly? Kid, don't lose my respect. It's the part of me that won't grow back. I don't know if I agree with everything you said. Still, I'm glad you said it. What do you mean? This is the first time I've felt like I'm really part of a team. Not just Peter tagging along. I get it, we're in this together. But it's good to know that's how you see it. I get what Steve sees in you. Is that a compliment or an insult? Not with him, depends on the week. But for you, it's all compliment, boss. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it, now you're the actual boss. And I called it, way before Steve did. 
I don't know how to feel about this. I'm happy for you, but I hope it isn't weird when we hang out. Why would it be weird? Huh. Good point. All right. Let's not make it weird. Every meeting should be like this one. Not what I expected. Is that good or bad? Right now? <laughs> Feels good to me. I could have brought popcorn. For the team? No. To watch you turn the abbey upside down and shake it like tambourines. You were more entertaining than anything I could have done tonight. Next time, I'll bring popcorn. I had not predicted this. Really? No. Sarah spoke with me earlier. We have a long history of mutual advisement. What advice did you provide? About time. Which was a mistake. She thought I'd presented her with a temporal riddle, as I do on occasion. Don't know about you guys, but that fired me up. Wait, you get excited when people yell at you? No, I mean the hunter taking charge. I'm with Robbie. I thought you wanted to be in charge. I wanted anyone in charge. Organizations and dogs abhor a vacuum. You certainly know how to speak your mind. You agreed with me. <laughs> of course not. But you stepped up, you laid it out, and now you're ready to walk straight into hell. Figure I'll be there when you do. Really? Yeah, you're the obvious target. So I'll slip past why they tear you limb from limb. Don't worry, we'll build you a bigger mausoleum. <laughs> Always the strategist. Still working out the kinks, but we'll get there. Did you plan this with Caretaker? Nope, it was off the cuff. Don't know why I didn't see it. You're perfect for this. You did not see me as a leader? It never crossed my mind. Most leaders I've encountered in life have a sort of professional ambition, for better or worse. Steve doesn't, but he's also called Captain America. The name alone carries rank and authority. So if I went by Private Hunter... Oh no, don't call yourself that. And I'm not explaining why. I didn't come here planning to put you on the spot, but that's how it turned out. You really think I can do this? I know you can do this. And you have a great team ready for you to lead them. So let's get started. Whatever happens with the prophecy, we'll always have the Quentin Carnival. Hey. Oh, hey, Hunter. I should have told you about Agatha. I sincerely hope I won't need to repeat myself after tonight. Stop. We've known each other too long for this. 